Hi yogis, it's Lexi. Today's class is inspired by this energy of spring and these words from E.E. E. Cummings, when the world is mudlicious and puddle wonderful. Makes me think of kapha and vata dosha. What does that mean to us new to the yogi terminology? It means kapha is this element of mud and water, like dirt and water, so mud, right? And we have it in our body, right? We have earth element in our body. Seems appropriate for Earth Day um, to think about this. And then vata is wind element. And vata is what brings us into animation, what moves us. So thinking about kapha and vata, we're going to do some heavy uh, work with our big bones of our pelvis and legs, and we're also going to do some balance possibility challenges. So let's have some fun. Start in a vata panasana, a seated cobbler's pose. We've been starting here a lot recently. Grab your ankles, inhale, roll your heart forward. Exhale, round and dome the back body. We'll do this just a few more times. Kind of feeling the posterior tilt of the pelvis and the anterior tilt of the pelvis as you rock and roll. Good. Okay, and then playing with this heaviness, we're going to take a heavy cartwheel. So heaviness and air quality. Heavy cartwheel all the way to a tabletop off of the left side of my mat. So I'll turn to face you. And in this shape, just take some simple cat cows. Inhale, let the belly get heavy. Exhale, dome and round the spine. Inhale, belly gets heavy. Exhale, dome and round the spine. Inhale, find neutral. On exhale, cartwheel back. Bum down, come on back into that Baddha Konasana. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, round and dome. Inhale, open the heart. Keep your body in this opening as you fold forward. Just got three breaths. Breathing for three. And one. Inhale, come on up, cartwheel the other way. So playing with this idea of heavy and air. This time though, you're gonna tap your bum to your heels, take a child's pose. Add it in a twist. Right arm will thread under your left, threading the needle. Staying here, taking your left hand around to the back, maybe taking a half bind, breathing for three. Two. And one. Left arm comes forward, right arm unwinds, take it the other way. I'm actually off the side of my mat, so that's totally fun. One of the benefits of practicing at home is you've got all the space you need. Two. And one. Good. Unwind in shape, coming on back to table. And again, cartwheel over, finding that Baddha Konasana. We're going to switch it up. Step your feet down, swing your arms behind you, lift up to altar pose. Let this feel like a good stretch in the shoulders, breathing here. If this is a lot for you, you can always tap your bum down and take even a deeper stretch of the shoulders, whatever you need to do for two. And one, tap your bum down, keep your leg space as you bring the right knee down inside the left foot and reach your arms high. On exhale, two hips towards the back of the mat, you'll just take a fold. Breathing here for three. You can walk your arms longer, whatever works, for two. And one. Go ahead and come back up. We'll take a twist. Left hand can come to the inner left knee or maybe the right knee as you leverage yourself into the twist for three. Two. And one. Turn yourself to face forward. Now, yogis, you can take your left ankle and hook it on the outer right thigh, right? Coming into a pose called Bhagavad's twist is just an option. Your left hand might come behind your back and grab for the left big toe. Right hand would then grab your knee. Or you take that same leg, that kind of double pigeon variation, nickel nickel pose, sometimes it's called, and you turn for three. Two. And one. Okay, we're coming back into an altar pose, but if you have the ankle on the thigh and want to keep it there, swing the arms back, lift up to a figure four altar for three. Just breathing. And one. If the left ankle is across, 
across the right thigh. You'll extend the leg long, lower it down. One pulse up and then bum comes down, taking it the other way. Knees tap to the right, right sole of the foot cups the left knee. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, walk yourself to face the back of the mat, giving yourself that nice juicy twist. That grounding moment, laying it down. Good. Walk yourself back. Take that counter twist. Good. Okay, right foot will cross on the left thigh. If you're taking back of us twist, you don't have to. You can do what we just did. Take the right hand behind your back to grab the toe. Left hand to the right knee and leverage and twist for three. Two. And one. Keep the ankle where it is if that's of interest to you. Otherwise, come back to a traditional altar or a figure for altar breathing. Right? Just feeling how this opens up your front plane of the body. You're up in the air, but you still feel heavy. Katha, vata, energy. Energy is spring. Mudlicious, puddle wonderful. Right leg forward, tap the knee down. One more moment in altar's pose. And then bum comes down. Hook the arms behind the knees. Come on up to a Navasana. You can stay like this or take it any direction you want. Three, two, and one. Cross your favorite shin in front of your other favorite shin, and we come to a tabletop. In this tabletop, you can take some cat cows. We've been here before. Tuck your toes under and float your knees about like a millimeter, an inch off the mat. Just again, tapping into the heaviness of your body, the mud element, right? Inertia is what keeps us from moving, but busting through inertia, right? Getting that heaviness to begin to move slowly and build up momentum, that's the power of kapha, it's unstoppable. It changes winter into summer, kapha element. Tap the knees down, inhale, right leg's gonna go long behind you, three-point table. Stay here, or reach the left arm long in front of you. We're holding for three breaths, or bringing the elbow and knee to touch. Inhale, you lengthen more. If you're taking the dancing cat, you crunch on exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. On this inhale, open back up. Take the left arm out to the left if it's lifted. Take the right arm out to the right. Sometimes this is called awkward airplane. You're holding for three. For two, and one. Bring the leg and arm long, and then lower the left hand. Swing the right leg off the left seam of the mat. So you're kind of preparing for Gomukhasana legs, or a crisscross knee child's pose. You'll tap the right knee down, and then slide your bum back. Breathing here for three. Two. And one. On your inhale, keep the crisscross of the knees. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips high. So this is our first down dog of class and we're coming at it with a heaviness in the lower half of our body because our legs are crisscrossed. Just feeling the shape. Good. On your inhale, keep the legs crisscrossed as you glide forward to a plank pose. You can stay here and take a push up. Maybe three. And then lower all the way down. Keep your ankles crisscrossed. Take a cobra. Let your lower half of your body feel pinned down. Feel so heavy. And then yogi's choice. You lower to your belly. Either tuck back to child or press up to plank. And then we meet in a downward dog. Legs remain crisscrossed. Step the left foot forward, that's the leg in front, to a long low lunge. Right hand is grounded inside the left foot. Peel the left arm to the sky. It's a dragonfly twist. Breathing here for three. Two, and I'm moving back and forth. I'm stirring that energy. And one. 
shift your weight to the pinky toe edge of the right foot, step your left foot halfway back, finding a supported side plank. On your inhale, stop into the left foot, reach to the arm overhead, lift the hips. Exhale, lower the right hip all the way down to hover as you reach for the back of your mat. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, lower and hover. One more time. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, lower and hover. Inhale, lift back to the supported side plank and then float that top left leg for three, two, and one. Step the left foot down, float the back right leg for three. Might be a little awkward. Two, and one. Go ahead and return to a low lunge. Replace that left foot to the front of the mat. Exhale, right foot's going to slide behind the left ankle. You're in a crisscross forward fold. Breathing here for three. Hitting the IT bands for two. And one. Put a little bend to the knees. Bring the right foot to the inner left ankle. So you have a little sapling tree. And then slowly allow your body to wobble as you roll yourself up. Finding a variation of Urdhva Hastasana with your foot in this tree. Bring your hands to prayer, hands to heart center, stand like a mountain. Inhale, reach your arms high to the sky. Exhale, swan dive as you bow and fold. On the inhale, step the right leg back, finding that long low lunge, left knee bent. Exhale, tap the right knee down. Inhale, lengthen and straighten the left leg, pull the belly button to the spine, reach your heart forward. Exhale, feel heaviness as you flow a little deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, feel more heaviness as you flow a little deeper. Inhale, air element, lengthen. Exhale, release air element. Feel heaviness fold a little deeper. On the inhale, walk your hands back just a little bit. I like to tap my fingers, flex the left foot well. You're going to lift the left heel for three. Tap it down. Two. And one. Rebend the left knee, crawl yourself forward to that long, low lunge. Exhale, left foot steps back to the right, down the breathing dog. Inhale, right your breath forward to plank pose. Three push-ups or hold plank. Three, two, and one. This time, lower all the way down to your belly, untuck your toes. Inhale, press your shoulder side of the feet into the earth, widen your hands, lift up. Cobra pose. Exhale, lower all the way back down. Tuck toes, leg, bum to heel. Child's pose. Inhale, ride your breath to table. Exhale, focus on the bodice. Lower core up and in. Pelvic floor lifted. Inhale, left leg goes long behind you. Three-point table. Stay like this or extend the right arm long. Stay like this. Or take that little dance of elbow to knee, open it out. Elbow to knee, open it out. Elbow to knee, open it out. Swing arm and leg out to the side, feeling the heaviness in the hips for three, two, and one. Reach the arm long, leg long, and then exhale, lower the right hand. Swing left foot off the right seam of the mat so you're crossing your upper thighs. On exhale, tap the left knee down. Glide your bum back to your heels. It's a child's pose with crisscross legs. Holding for three. Holding for two. Releasing, just releasing into gravity for one. On the inhale, keep the crisscross as you come to crisscross table. Tuck your toes under. Lift the knees, crisscross dog. Breathing here for three. Readjusting your feet as needed for two. And one. Inhale, ride your breath forward to plank pose. Taking your push-up, so holding steady. Either choice is good for three. Two. And one. We'll all lower with our legs in crisscross all the way down. Letting the feet feel so heavy, lift up Cobra. 
Pull your chest out of the pelvis. Exhale, lower back down. Either gliding bumpy heel child or pressing up to plank. Down the dog. Right leg now steps forward between the hands. On the inhale, you're in a long lunge. Left hand down inside the right foot, right arm to the sky, drive into a twist. Inhale, reach the arm overhead. As you pivot to that variation of side plank, lift the hips. Exhale, hover. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, return to that side plank variation. Float the right foot for three, two, and one. Right foot down, float the left foot for three, two, and one. Move that right foot forward, return to that long low lunge. And now left foot kicks up and slides behind the right ankle, crisscross ankle. Folding, getting that IT band stretch for three, two, and one. Left foot's going to glide into a little kickstand, a little sapling tree. Let your body just feel the uncertainty of rolling up to stand with this slight variation to your base. Take an inhale, arms high, mountain pose. Inhale, reach arms high to the sky. Exhale, bow and fold. As you inhale your heart forward, step the left leg back, long low lunge. Exhale, tap the left knee down. Inhale, lengthen and straighten the right leg. Pull the belly button back on the exhale and begin to fold. Inhale again, telescope the spine. Exhale, gravity is going to have its way with you. Inhale, lengthen. Feel grateful for this mud mass of your body on Earth Day that helps you get deeper into the pose by weighting you down. Walk the hands back a smidge, flex the right foot maybe, and then float for three, two, and one. Crawl yourself forward back into that long, low lunge. Step back, downward, breathing dog, hips high. Heels are consciously trying to get heavy. You're pressing your bum back in space. You're letting your body open and elongate. Inhale, right your breath forward to plank pose, high yogi push up. Exhale, tap your knees down. Inhale, lengthen your shoulders ahead of the wrist. Wing your elbows in and take a chaturanga push up. Press back up, press back down. Press back up, press back down. Last time, up. Down, stay here for three breaths or float your knees for three, two, and one. Roll over the toes, keep the thighs lifted as you can. It's an upward dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips high, downward dog. Big breath in, big breath out. On the inhale, lift to the balls of the feet, look at your hands. On exhale, Hop your feet around your hands like you're a bullfrog in a pond. Mudlicious, puddle, wonderful spray. Holding yourself in this melasma garland pose. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, kind of lift your elbows out of the way. On exhale, tap the right knee down. Come back to melasma, tap the left knee down. Come back to melasma, tap the right knee down. Lift the hips up. Come back, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, hands down, straighten the legs, exhale. Toe heel your feet closer together, maybe a fist apart or maybe even closer. Put a bend to the knees and roll your spine all the way up to stand. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, prayer to heart center. Let's flow. Inhale, lift the arms high, look up. Exhale, swan dive, bow and fold. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Step to plank and lower or jump back, bend elbows, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, roll over the toes, back bend. Exhale, tuck the toes, hips high, heavy in the heel. 
exhales, breathing for three, for two, and one. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet, look where you want to go. Exhale, step feet between the hands or on bottom of exhale, hop. Lift halfway, bow and fold. Root to rise, reach it high, close the loop. Let's add on. Right foot's going to come to the calf. Right knee's going to wing out to the right. Legs are in an external rotation. Hands are prayers. You're holding for three. Maybe grow your branches for two. Maybe cactus your arms for one. Release the feet. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, take them out. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Take it back and forth. In your downward dog, right foot's going to come to the same spot on the left calf. So you're in that baby tree shape. You can absolutely stay here or lie forward to plank and take a push up or two or three. Downward dog. Right knee's going to wing forward, tap the upper outer right arm, glide down to the wrist, slide back into the arm, step back downward dog. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet, step or float, feet to hands. Lift halfway, bow and fold. Reverse swan, reach it high, hands to heart center, second side, left foot to the right calf. Baby tree. Maybe reaching the hands high. Maybe cactus in the arm, opening the heart. One more big breath in. Exhale, release, hands down. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Yogi's on the move, take it back and through. From your downward dog, left foot comes to the same spot on the right calf. Pressing back, holding this external rotation of the left leg as your right foot's in neutral and you're in a slight forward fold or gliding forward for plank. Three, two, one. From this baby tree down dog, left knee comes to the upper outer left arm, slide to the wrist, back up to the arm, step back down the dog. Inhale, lift to the balls of the feet. Step, hop, float, fly. Lift halfway. Bow and fold. Reverse swan. Reach it high. Hands to heart center. Let's keep going. Right foot's going to come to the inner left thigh if that's available. If not, keep it the calf or the ankle. Reach your arms high. Cactus the arms. Palms face forward, flanking the hips, offering your heart for three. Two, and one, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Move to down dog however works, you can always step there. From downward dog, right foot's coming to the inner outer left thigh, if that's a bit, inner upper left thigh, if that's available. Staying here, or you can take the push-ups if you want. Downward dog. This time, right knee, upper outer right arm. Slide down the pole, maple. Up you go. Right leg high. Step the right foot between your hands. Long low lunge. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. Dragonfly twist. Take it to your variation of side plank, or right foot can step on the inner left thigh, tree side plank, holding for three, two, and one. That right leg's gonna step all the way forward, right arm's gonna swim stroke, offer it up to a half moon balancing pose. Left leg stacks, left, left, left leg stacks. Left arm extends for three, two. Okay, listen carefully, a little weird. Left foot is going to kick off the left side of your mat. So 
you are in like a rover's revenge, reaching the left arm to the sky, or maybe reaching for the foot if that's something you want to play with for three, two, and one. Left foot's now going to come into a tree pose on the inner side, a little micro bit on the right knee as you roll yourself all the way up to tree. Take an inhale when you arrive. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, hands plank the hips, shine your heart. Whew, feels so good. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach arms high. Exhale, take a bow. Breathing here, breathing out. Okay, my friends. Before we take the second side, you can plant your hands, hold in this forward fold, or hook your shins on the back of your arms, taking crow practice. Whatever works for you, you have five breaths, either in a forward fold or working on your crane or crow pose for three, two, step back, jump back, float back, the vinyasa is yours. Okay, from your downward dog though, left foot steps into the inner right thigh. We're in that tree down dog, breathing here. You know the push-ups are available. I only did two, you did three. Okay, left knee now comes to the upper outer left arm, down the flagpole, up the flagpole. Left leg long behind you, step it between your hands. Inhale, dragonfly twist. Exhale, transitioning to your side plank. Like this, like this, or the name of the game, tree. Breathing for three. Two. And one. Left foot's going to lift, step all the way forward. Launch yourself like you're toppling in the breeze into half moon balance. Breathing here, opening up for three, two, and one. Right leg's going to kick, karate chop forward. Maybe the hand reaches, maybe you grab for the big toe. Whatever feels good for three, two, and one. Bring the right leg into your tree, and then just to even it out, you're going to slowly roll. All the way up, tree pose, release, mountain pose. Close your eyes, take a big breath in, and take a big breath out. Surya Namaskar knee, sun knee. Bend the knees, swing the arms, high chair pose. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, lift halfway, prepare. Take it back in through yogis. Right away, right foot steps between the hands, left heel down and in, warriors rise. Exhale, warriors flow. Hands frame the front foot, step to plank and lower. Hit the back foot on the inhale, downward dog. Left foot between the hands, right heel down and in, warriors rise. You're already out of it, ready, exhale. This is that element of vata, just moving us. One breath, one movement, we are flowing. Downward dog, big breath in, big breath out. Huge breath in, huge breath out. Lifting the balls of feet, look where you want to go, step or float. Lift halfway, bow and fold. Bend the knees, swing the arms high, chair pose. Stay like a mountain, let's add on. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, lift the right knee to the chest. Bring the right ankle to cross the left thigh. Sit back, figure four chair, any version of the arms for three, for two, and one. Inhale, chair pose, right away, second side, left thigh to the chest, cross the left ankle, sit back for three, 
for two. And one. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Any vinyasa works. We meet in downward dog. Right foot steps between the hands, left heel down and in. Warriors rise, we're adding on. Exhale, tee the arms into cactus. Bring your left elbow and left hip slightly forward, give you that adjustment. Straighten the arms, straighten the front leg, lean it back for three. For two. And one. Rebend the front knee, reach the arms high. You're out of there, flow. Maybe you take a three point vinyasa. Maybe you're skipping it. Second side, left foot between the hands, right heel down and in, warriors rise. Cactus the arms, adjust the pose. Straighten the arms, straighten the front leg, find that back bend quality for three, two, and one, rebend the front knee, you're in your warrior pose. Exhale, flow. Three breaths here. Using that vata quality of deep, purposeful breaths to calm your nervous system, to bring you back to that grounded kapha state. Lift to the balls of the feet, look between your hands. Exhale, step on empty foot. Lift halfway, prepare. Yogis take a bow. Bend the knees deeply, Utkatasana, chair pose. Stand like a mountain. Okay, inhale, chair pose. Right knee into chest. Right ankle crosses left thigh, sit low, figure four chair. On your exhale, fold halfway. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, plant the hands. Hook your right shin on the back of your arm or stay in that forward fold with chair legs. If you're taking the arm bounce, you have to really press your right shin down to eventually lift the left leg long. Now you can hop back, step back, flow back, your choice. Taking the vinyasa or skipping it. And then, hop to the front of the mat. Lift halfway, take a bow. Bend the knees, reach the arms high, chair pose, right away, second side, left knee in the chest, cross the shin, sit back, figure four chair. Fold halfway. Staying here, lowering the hands. If you're taking the arm balance again, use your toes, hook them around the back of the arms, lay the shin on the back of the arms. You have to look forward, really trust yourself. And then flow it back. We'll meet in downward dog. From your downward dog, right leg to the step between the hands, left heel down and in. Warriors rise, cactus the arms. Straighten the front leg, straighten the arms. This time, exhale into warrior two. Right knee bends, roll the thigh open, arms are strong for three. For two. And one. Go ahead, straighten the right leg, turn the toes to the side of the mat. Flying warrior. Right arm's gonna grab your ribs. Left arm's gonna reach on top, give you a hug. Bend the knees, turn the toes out, sway from side to side for three. Feeling heaviness below the belly button, air element up above the belly button. Good. Open out warrior two. Straighten the right leg, find the sky archer, pull yourself back. And then cartwheel the hands to frame the front foot. You are vinyasa. Left foot between the hands, right heel down and in, warriors rise. Exhale, cactus the arm, micro adjustment. 
Inhale, straighten the arms down. Reach the left leg long. Reach the heart up. And then open that warrior two. Holding this shape, getting deep in the pelvis, getting strong in the legs for three. Two. And one. Straighten the front leg, turn the toes to the side of the mat, reach the arms high, flying warrior. Left arm gives you a hug, right arm on top, bend the knees and sway for three. Good. Two. And one, open out, warrior two. Straighten the front knee, sky archer, reach back, lengthen. And then flow it. Big breath in and down the dog. Big breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, step, hop, load, fly, feet to hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bow and fold. Bend the knees, chair pose. Feeling strong in the legs. Stand like a mountain. Good job. Okay, inhale, chair pose. Bring the right thigh into your chest. Cross the right leg over left, figure four chair. Hook your hands underneath the right shin, like you're scooping it up, and come to stand, holding for three, two, and one. Go ahead and lay it back onto the shin, come back to figure four chair, and then step, fold yourself down. Okay, yogis, you can either plant the hands and just hop that back foot back, coming into a figure four plank, or take the arm bounce to hop back. But then the right leg is gonna kick off the left seam. Left arm's gonna reach toward the sky. It's a falling triangle. For three, opportunity to lift that right leg if you want. For two, and one. Left hand down, inhale the right leg high. Three point down dog. Extra exhale to step the foot between the hand. Really root the pinky toe edge of the left foot. Inhale, rise, warrior one. Exhale, cactus, move that left hip forward a bit. Straighten the arms, straighten the front leg, lean back. Exhale, open out, re-bend the front knee, warrior two. Inhale, flying warrior one breath. Exhale, hug yourself, take that fold, and on the inhale, you're swaying with the breeze. Exhale, open out, warrior two, in front of the mat again. Inhale, sky archer, lean it back. Adding on, releasing the wrist, pike forward, 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 triangle. Back of the hand can be on the calf, you can grab your ankle, you can even hop the foot in, collect the big toe if that's of interest to you. Breathing in Trikonasana Triangle Pose for three. Spiraling the heart open for two. Feeling the rootedness in the feet. Feeling how the power emanates from the pelvis here. For one. Look down, walk the right hand ahead of the right foot. Coming back into Ardha Chandra, that happy balance. Some of us are going to bend the left knee and grab it for Arishana Chopasana. Just an option. Kind of stretching the quads for three. Two. Big breath in. Kick it back. And then left leg out to the left. That rotor's revenge again. Okay, this time bring the left foot into the right thigh. Figure four tree fold. And then glide the left foot across Cross the right quad. Bend the right knee. Press up, figure four chair. Yes. And then hook the arms underneath the left calf. Pull that left leg to your body. Breathing here for three. Two. And one. Bend the right knee. Lay that shin back down on your quad. Release. And take your forward fold. Arm balance available is a hop back, but so is this. Plant the hands. Hop, hop, 
Ha, figure four plank. Kick the left leg off the right seam of the mat, peel it into a fallen triangle, or float that front leg for three, two, and one. Right hand down, left leg high, three point down dog. Exhale, step the left foot between the hands, spin that right heel down and in. Find that connection. Inhale, lifts you up. Exhale, cactus, deepen the twist. Inhale, straighten the arms, lean it back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, flying warrior. Exhale, give yourself a hug. Inhale, move with the breeze. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, release, release, lengthen, lengthen, open. Trikonasana, any variation that works for you. Lengthening not just the right, but the left side body for three, two. Huge breath in, yogis. Exhale, look down. Left hand in front and outside the pinky toe edge. Launch yourself into that half moon balance. Once you're here, if you want to, you can bend the back leg, grab that foot, open up for three, two, and one. Kick the right leg forward, whoop, and then come into that full tree, hard to do, and then glide that right ankle across the left thigh, sit low, figure four chair, big breath in. Big breath out. Straighten the front leg, pick up the shins. We're now gonna work for a bind, right? If you have the bind, take the bind. Otherwise, keep the same, the opposite hand grabbing the toe or the same hand behind the back grabbing the toe. And then no matter what you're doing, contemplate taking that incredible fold. That incredible fold. Breathing here for three. Your legs can be in half lotus or not. Maybe they're, maybe you're in a figure four chair. That's cool too. Two. And one. Well done. Release the hands. Again, hop that left foot back. Right foot off the left seam of the mat. Lift it up. This time lower your butt and just take a fold over a straight back leg. For three. For two. Good. And one cartwheel, air element all the way back forward. Tuck the back toes. Come on into this IT band plank. You're doing three, two, and one. Right leg high. This is familiar. Step the right foot between the hands. Left heel down and in. Warriors rise. Cactus the arms. Warriors self adjust. Straighten the front knee, lengthen the arms, heart opener. Exhale, ninja power into warrior two. Inhale, flying warrior through the air. Exhale, right arm leads, give yourself a hug. Inhale, sway and move. Exhale, warrior two, front of the mat. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, release and lower, triangle pose. On the inhale, walk the right hand forward, lift up Ardha Chandrasana. Okay, my friends, option. Some of us are going to take the right hand, that's the hand that's on the ground, around to grab for that back foot, right? Resist the urge to square the hips. We're trying to open the hips here, play with balance for three, two, and one. Left hand comes down. Now bring the hips squared and then open to the right side of the mat. You're in a bound side um, revolved half moon. Okay? If you want to release the foot and take it into half moon proper with the revolution, where is Prince? Go ahead and do it for three, two, and one. You're going to land that left foot back. You're in that dragon flight twist been here before, turn to that supported side plank. Now yogi's options, you can glide the right foot into an eagle and take a squat, or you can tap the left knee down, take the right foot into a half lotus, reach the right hand behind your back. 
Yeah. And then come into, it's called Kaspiasana. Side plank with lotus legs. Hard to do for three, two, and one. Okay, final little tweak and then we're going to take it back forward. You're going to lower into a table with lotus legs, okay? This isn't for you. Don't worry about it. Take a crisscross table and or crisscross child, okay? If your right knee feels okay, and generally, I like to move a little bit ahead of my right knee, so I'm almost kind of on my lower quad. Press into the left hand. You're going to take your right hand around behind. Keep the bind. I forgot that. Press into the left hand. Lengthen the left leg long. Stay here or float the back leg. You can lift and lower or stay lifted. Just plain. That's hard. Bend the knees, Ukatasana. Step or hop the feet forward, forward, forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, bow. Bend your knees, Ukatasana. Left knee comes into the chest. Left leg crosses, figure four chair. You're going to swoop down, pick up the calf, bring it into the body. Okay. Same hand can reach behind the back and grab the toe, or opposite hand can hold the foot into this half lotus tree. Okay. Or you can take the bottom behind your back. Whatever you're doing, you're now going to fold. Breathing here for three, two, and one. Lift halfway, release the bind, hop or float the right foot back. Take it into your fallen triangle. Lower the bum down. Here's a little moment of zen, a little add-on cartwheel, right? Cartwheel those hands to the back foot, breathing for three. Two. And one. Cartwheel back to the front of your mat. Tuck the right toes. Square the hips down if you can. That left leg is really across your body. Take your push-ups for three. Two. And one. Left leg goes high to the sky. This is familiar. Step it forward. Spin the right heel down. Warriors rise. That's your inhale. Exhale, deepen. Really find an arch in that back foot to support the knee. Straighten the arms, straighten the leg, lead it back. Warrior two. Go deep, go big. Inhale, flying warrior. Left arm gives you a hug, right arm on top, and then sway with the breeze. Loving every inch of your body today. Warrior two. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, pike forward. Find your triangle. On your inhale, you're letting air lift you into this tremendous heart opening pose. Staying like this or bending the knee and the bottom hand grabs for the foot. Holding for three, for two, and one. Now, right hand comes down, square the hips to the ground. Stay in this revolved bound half moon or liberating the leg for three, for two, and one. Land in that dragonfly, taking it to your side plank. Okay, today's option. If you don't need to tap the knee down, you don't have to. I happen to need to. So I bring the knee down, I bring that left foot into my half lotus. Take the bind behind my back, right? And then plant the hands, press up, holding for three, two, and one. Slip dab it. Okay. Coming either to your crisscross child, that's awesome, or recommitting. Recommitting to that bind behind your back. Okay? Once you have it, Maybe not weight bearing directly on the knee. Maybe a little head of the kneecap's better for you. Extend the right leg long. Find the bind. Find a drifty. Find your core. And then just float the right leg. 
Maybe it lifts and lowers, that's totally fine. Maybe you can stick it. All right, one more time. All right, okay, my friends. Go ahead, press back to downward dog. Big breath in, big breath out. White leg will go high to the sky and bring that right shin forward all the way, setting up for pigeon. Untuck the back toes, open up your heart. And then exhale, take a forward fold. Breathing here for three, for two, and one. You thread your left arm under your right, taking a twist. Maybe the right hand can reach around and grab that big toe. Holding. Three, I feel pretty mudlicious right now. Two, and one. Go ahead and unwind the pose, tuck the toes, three point dog, and then set the right foot down. Second side, left leg high. Bring it to the front of the mat as parallel as you can make it. I like to keep my back toes tucked at least at first and then I untuck it. Open my heart to get long. And then exhale, bow and fold. On the inhale, lift halfway, take the right hand under the left arm, threading the needle. Maybe the left arm back strokes and connects with the toe. Just an option. Unwind, come on up. This time you'll just slip slide that right knee into the left foot. Setting up for Bhagavad's twist one more time. Go ahead and bring the right hand to the left knee. Take the twist. And then left hand to the right knee. Maybe taking the twist. Okay, if you're coming for the pose again, you'll bring the left ankle atop the right thigh. Left hand will snake around and grab the toe. And you'll twist deeper. Go ahead and just switch to the other side. Start with the legs right and that kind of short, almost a little pigeon. Take the twist. Just referencing the start of class. Take the twist. Oh, feels good. Feel all that space. Take the right ankle over the left thigh if you want to. Right hand comes behind the back. And then left hand to the knee, leveraging the twist. Okay, my friends, you'll release that shake and then just come into a Sandhakonasana again. Roll the heart forward, roll the hips back, collect your big toes, lift up to a Upavisto Konasana, a wide leg straddle, Navasana variation. Good. And then flex your feet well as you just simply Honor all that kapha, that mudtastic quality of your body, your heaviness, as you rock forward and take it into your Upavisto Konasana wide leg straddle fold. I'll scoot back so you can see me. Good. Breathing here.
On your inhale, roll yourself up. Go ahead and hook behind the knees. You can either bring your knees to touch, straighten your legs, come back to your Shavasana, or maybe today, you'll open your knees into that Baddha Konasana, that cobbler shape, and you'll just crawl yourself back and take your Shavasana in a Sutta Baddha Konasana shape. So the doshas, right, there are these three qualities that all of us are made up, constituted with. There's kapha, earth and water, mud. This is your mass, your bones, your muscles, your sinew. Vata, this is your air, your flow, your circulatory system, your respiratory system. Pitta is that fire, that metabolism, your digestive energy. And all three are important. And they're in our body and they're in this earth. And in spring, as we go through these days that are mud-tastic and puddle-wonderful, we really have an opportunity to watch this dance between kapha and vata and how it's just so beautiful. And when we recognize it in nature, we can recognize it in our body. And on days when we're feeling really heavy, we can work towards things that have more air, like a vinyasa flow, more fire or pitta, like the hot room, or building that heat with your ujjayi breath. And vice versa, when you're feeling like you cannot get balanced, you are just floating out there, just taking these grounded yoga poses that really open up your hips and your quads and these heavy parts of your body. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay in your Shavasana as long as you want. The light in me reflects and respects and is so very grateful for the beautiful, unique light that is you. Namaste. Thank you. Bye.